तव कथात तप्त जीवन कवीभिरीडित कलमशापम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदातम भुवि गृणती भुरीदाचना भुवि गृणती भुरीदाचना the gospel of shri ram krishna why there is controversy regarding the opinion about god so many opinions because god reveals in so many ways to various people according to their feelings according to their capacities according to their needs just like a mother cooks the same item for various children in different ways according to their tastes according to their capacity to digest and according to their needs of life she may bring the same vegetable but may cook in different ways to suit the different children like that god appears to different people according to their needs according to their tastes according to their demands so here shri ram krishna is explaining that he alone knows that god reveals himself to seekers in various forms and aspects to the one who is sitting below the tree in like manner one who constantly thinks of god can know his real nature he alone knows that god reveals himself to seekers in various forms and aspects god has attributes then again he has none only the man who lives under the tree knows that chameleon can appear in various colors and he knows further that the animal at times has no color at all it is the others who suffer from the agony of futile argument god has attributes and again he has none like air air it doesn't have any smell by itself sometime it may smell like jasmine when it blows over jasmine flowers and when it blows over champa flowers it may smell like champa a rotten animal when it flows over it may immediately we close our nose seeing the smell air is carrying a all types of smell over which it flows but by itself has no smell at all but it can carry any we cannot say so air has got to be of this smell alone no it can be of any smell and when you see actually it has no smell at all kabir used to say the formless absolute is my father and god with my god with form is my mother god reveals himself in the form which is 
devotees love most. God reveals himself in the form which his devotee loves most. A devotee is there, he deeply loves a particular form. God appears to him in that form. His love for devotee knows no bounds. God's love for his devotee. Because every jiva, every soul on this earth, every life on this earth is existing and is life because life is expression of consciousness through matter. This body is matter. In it, the Chaitanya is expressing through the Jada, through matter. Chaitanya is expressing through Jada. The consciousness is expressing through matter. Uh, now this consciousness which is expressing through matter is life. And what is this consciousness? It is a part of the universal consciousness. Just like hundred pots are there in this room, each pot has its inner space. This each pot, the inner space of each pot is the space of the room itself. The space room is there in pot as pot room. The pot space is room space. The room space is there in pots as pot space. Hmm. So, the universal consciousness is expressing through various bodies as individual consciousness. I am conscious. This consciousness is withdrawn when I enter into sleep. When I enter deep sleep, another layer, another level of consciousness I am entering. Different levels of consciousness. I enter the super conscious state in Samadhi Stiti. We are accustomed to pass through three levels of consciousness, Jagrat, Swapna, Sushupti, waking, dreaming and deep sleep. But beyond that, in the three states we are passing through, our struggle is to stretch to another level of consciousness where there is more reality. Just like there is difference between dream and waking, from waking to higher level of consciousness, there is difference. Ultimately, we increase, go on increasing our level of consciousness. Ultimately, we reach the Brahman consciousness the consciousness of the absolute existence. That is Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Nirvikalpa Samadhi, there is no duality is perceived. So that is the ultimate and highest. So we are passing through different levels of consciousness. In Samadhi we enter into, so in con cosmic consciousness Vishwa Chaitanya is there in me as Vyashti Chaitanya, individual consciousness. Cosmic consciousness there is in me. God himself is there in me. He is the indweller. He is Antaryamin. When the Chaitanya expresses through matter, a ego shoots up. That ego is doing all this mischief. As devotees that ego, uh, the kartritva, bhoktritva, jnatritva, enjoying, do it, the doer, doer in this body is that ego, the enjoyer is ego. This ego is turned to higher direction to get refined through sadhana and reach higher levels of consciousness experience. The kartritva is turned into sadhana, bhoktritva is turned into experiencing God in various levels. Then we see God manifesting, God projecting forth himself. So devotee means he is himself there. That is why so much of uh, just like I am I have a pain in my leg, 
I am already there. That is why I am experiencing pain in my leg. I am already there. Suppose I am asleep, if there is pain I will not understand because I am not there. There is no place where God is not there. I am limited to this body, but God is not limited to this body. He is limited to all bodies and beyond He exists. He exists in every body and beyond also. So He is there, He is already there, He is experiencing. Just like I, this leg is so dear to me that I don't want pain to be there. God also doesn't want the pain to be there in Him who is there as the Jiva. Hmm. God even is in the form of the devotee loves most. His love for his devotee knows no bound because he himself is there. Highest love is loving one's own self. Hmm. It is written in the Purana that God assumed the form of Rama for his heroic devotion, devotee Hanuman. It is written in the Purana that God assumed the form of Rama for his heroic devotee Hanuman. For the sake of Hanuman, he has taken Rama Avatara, it seems. Rama took form hmm, for the sake of his devotee. The form means how much he loves, he, how much he is able to dedicate, how much he is able to give himself to the devotee. Hmm. The forms and aspects of God disappear when one discriminates in accordance with Vedanta philosophy. The forms and aspects of God disappear when one discriminates in accordance with the Vedanta philosophy. The ultimate conclusion of such discrimination is Brahman alone is real and this world of names and forms in illusory. This world alone exists. The rest is illusory. Hmm. Means illusion and delusion. Illusion is there is no error of mind. I have been revealed in that way and I perceive it. And delusion is my error. I am seeing a thing in wrong way is delusion. There is a stump and there is mandhandakara. The light is not clear. It is partially dark. So a stump of tree, a thief is going he thinks, oh, police is standing there. So, if this is delusion, it is his wrong perception. A rope is fallen, he mistakes it for snake, it is a delusion. He shouts this, that and all, he is trembling and fallen unconscious. People come and see, it is, a rope is in front of him. There was no snake at all. He saw a snake there, it is delusion, his error. But when he is going in desert, he sees a water oasis where there is no water. Uh, there is no water at all, but he sees water, Mari Mari Chika. So that is even in uh, hot days, when you are traveling in tar roads, you can see as if it is watered. When you go closer, closer, it is water is not there, it disappears. Hmm. So, this is illusion. I, it is not my error, but it has been shown that way. I have, both are mistaken perception. I have wrongly percepted, perceived, I have wrongly perceived because it was shown wrongly to me. 
and which was not there was made to appear. Another is I am seeing wrongly, there is an error in my perception because I have not known properly my error and nature's presentation. So, if this world is illusory, it is looking like that, but it is not there. Hmm. That is illusion. Here, Sri Ramakrishna is telling about the illusion, how the Vedantists feel this world is illusory. That is why we use the term cosmic maya. The individual ignorance is called avidya. All are seeing this universe at the same time. Hmm. There is a, God is presenting himself as this universe and we are seeing universe. This is illusion. Hmm. Everybody is, this is Vishwa Mohini, Maya. Maya which is covering a very jiva. That is, we use the term Maya. Individual is called Avidya. Cosmic is called Maya. Maya is the delusive power which covers every jiva. And the moment it is covered, a ego shoots up. He does not know who he is. He does not know what this universe is. He does not know what is beyond. So, this is Maya. I do not know who am I, I do not know what is God, I do not know what is nature, because I am covered with my inner covering, individual is called avidya. Form disappears when one discriminates in accordance with Vedanta philosophy. The ultimate conclusion of such discrimination is that Brahman alone is real and this world of names and forms illusory. It is possible for man to see the forms of God or to think of him as a person only as long as he is conscious that he is a devotee. From the standpoint of discrimination of ego of a devotee, keeps him a little away from God. From the standpoint of discrimination of this ego, from the standpoint of discrimination, this ego of a devotee keeps him a little away from God. Duality, I am seeing God is different, I am different. There are duality, I am seeing God. When they become one, I am God. When duality is not there, it is the closest stage when each dissolves in the other. The subject object dissolve in each other is the highest. Beyond that, there cannot be anything. It has become one. Duality has disappeared. That is the ultimate. But I am keeping the duality different from me. But I do not see anything else other than only two, I and God. He is God little away. I am seeing the universe also. Then God is little more far away. I am seeing world only. God is not being seen. Then go highest difference. God is far, far away from me. Hmm. So, the presence of universe world makes me far away from God. Uh, I, now we are in such a state, we are seeing world and not God. A day will come when I see God with the world. Later on I see God independent of the world. Finally I become one with God. Where is, there is one eternal existence that is Advaitic experience. Hmm.
from the standpoint of discrimination, uh, this ego of a devotee, the ego of a devotee is supposed to be the best ego. I belong to the Lord, Lord belongs to me. Most refined, uh, illumined ego keeps him away, a little away. I have to experience God. I want to be separate from God and experience. I don't want to be sugar. I want to taste sugar. Sugar is different for me. I becoming sugar, I myself becoming sugar is different. Uh, Ananda Ghana. Do you know why images of Krishna Kali are three and a half cubits high? Because of distance. Hmm. We are thinking, giving a form to Krishna. Krishna is three and a half cubits height. One cubit is eighteen inches. One, this is called one cubit. Hmm. So, one cubit, eighteen inches, three and a half, <laughs> uh, six feet height is called three cubits. Another hmm. <laughs> nine, nine inches. Hmm. Maximum seven feet man. Hmm. Three and a half cubit height of a uh, the highest height of a human. Hmm. Because I'm, we are seeing him in form of a man, hmm. a particular height, because he is far away from us. As he comes closer, closer. It goes on expanding and more and more near. Again, on account of dis distance, sun appears to be small. But if you go near, you eat, you will find that sun is so big that you won't be able to comprehend it. Earth itself. Look at the earth. You are standing on the earth. How big earth? Immeasurable. Hmm. As you go little away, still earth is so vast on flight and all that. Hmm. When you are going, then you will see a large area of the earth, but whole earth you don't see. Only spacecrafts going away from earth to moon or somewhere, or as a uh, trip to one of the Hmm. Space uh, places, then we can see far away to the border of our earth where gravitation ends. Hmm. Hmm. But if you go nearer, near, it will, we will find that sun is so big, hmm, thousands of earths can be kept over it. You won't be able to comprehend it. Why have the images of Krishna and Kali a dark blue color? That too is on account of distance. Like water of a lake, which appears green, blue or black from distance, go near and take the water in palm of your hand and you will find it has no color at all. The sky also appears blue from distance, go near you will see that it has no color at all. It is because we are seeing God from afar off, I am different itself is going away. I am different from God. He is going away. And more far off I see, more attributes I see, more limitations I put on him with form, this, that and all. One by one upadhi, uh, every attribute you put, uh, uh, allocate to him, every attribute you allocate to him, 
is a limitation you are putting on him. That limitation makes lots of difference. Uh, he goes far and far. Therefore, I say that in the light of Vedantic reasoning, Brahman has no attributes. The real nature of Brahman cannot be described because the seer and seen, the subject and object become one. Who will express when there is one and no, yet nothing else. But so long as your individuality is real, the world also is real and equally real are the different forms of God and the feelings that God is a person. Wonderful understanding. Uh, as long as you have a personality, world is there. I am a part of the universe. I am a part of universe. Mm, if just a part, there is the whole. And the moment I, as a body, I think myself as a body, there is the universe is there. The moment I come to the bodily awareness, universe is there apart from me. Because I am a part of that. Mind is a part of cosmic mind. Physical body is a part of Virat. Everything is a part. Part means there is a whole of which this my bodily existence is part. As long as your body, there is a world also, universe also. The moment the universe comes into pictures, everything is name and form alone. God also is name and form alone. Beyond the universe is formless and nameless. Within the universe, there can be only with name and form and attributes. Everything, every object, every person, every life has attributes. It is so and so, it is the same. So, this aspect that if you are within the nature as a part of nature, then God is also is having form because he has to appear within the creation to you because you are body. Hmm. So, here we see that the, as long as you are within the creation as with bodily awareness, you have the God with form alone. I will read that again, an important expression. Therefore, I say that in light of Vedantic reasoning, Vedantic reasoning is God alone is real, all else is illusory. Vedantic reasoning, Brahman has no attributes at all. The real nature of Brahman cannot be described because describer and the described becomes one when he experiences it. But so long as your individuality is real, so long as your individuality is real, the world also is real. So long as, because individuality comes, there is the cosmic existence. It is with respect to cosmic ex existence, your bodily existence is a part of the cosmic existence. And equally real are the different forms of God and feeling that God is a person. You cannot think beyond. You have to think uh, God as a person because you are at bodily level. Om Niranjanam Nityam Anantarupam Bhaktanukampa Dhrita Vikraham Vai Eshavataram Paramesha Medium Tam Ramakrishnam 
ಶಿರಸ ನಮಾಮಹ